Hello, I'm Alan Varney. I'm the winemaker here at Varney Wines. Uh, you're joining me today in our cellar door uh, to talk a little bit about our trophy winning uh, Grenache Mabedra Tariga. It's a 2021 wine from Mikhail Bell. Um, I'm very excited to share it with you uh, and show you a little bit what we do and what we're all about. Um, this is a very uh, exciting wine for us and I'm, I'm very pleased uh, that it's picked up the trophy, obviously. Uh, it being a very modern style on a Grenache based uh, blend. Um, it's something that Mikhail is becoming quite known for. Uh, Grenache many years ago was probably seen as a bit of an underdog variety in the Vale. Uh, the greatest examples uh, have always been, been there uh, from some of the leading uh, wineries around the place, but it's only recently uh, that's really been championed as a great variety. Uh, and we're finding some very interesting blending uh, opportunities for it. Um, this one is blended with Mavedra and Tariga. Uh, giving it a very modern, approachable, um, a bit of a lighter style uh, of, of red wine. Um, again, fantastic for the warmer weather. On a 30 or 40 degree day, I think uh, this would certainly be a wine of choice in comparison to some of the traditional uh, bigger 15% alcohol Shiraz of the past. Um, so it's, it's fantastic to see that this, um, this style of wine is, um, I guess, getting the recognition uh, that it so truly deserves. Um, this wine being a little bit lighter on its feet, uh, with a bit of zippy acidity, uh, moderate tannin levels. Um, it's, it's very approachable. We even recommend throwing it in the fridge sometimes uh, on a warm day. It's a fantastic um, alternative red wine for summer. Uh, so certainly it's something you bring along to barbecues. It's something you might have down the beach even. Um, it still holds its own uh, in the cooler weather as well. There's still plenty of structure, um, a, a little lick of tannin there on the, on the finish, keeping it all tightly together. Um, but certainly it's a wine designed uh, to be enjoyed in its youth uh, and much more modern in its, in its take. Um, I've been making wine in the Clarabel for well over a decade, about 15 years now. Um, we started out on our own back in 2019 uh, when I realized that we had access to some incredible vineyards. Um, a lot of these vineyards are owned by friends of mine. Uh, I've known them for years and years. I've worked at some of the, the big way bridges of some of the big wineries in McLaren Vale and got to know them. And when I realized that we had this opportunity um, to start making a bit of wine, um, we, we couldn't pass it up. Uh, in 2015, this property uh, we put on the market. At the time, it was a derelict old barn. There was basically nothing but three limestone walls you'd see surrounding us. And it took us a couple of years to get it up to scratch. Uh, a lot of renovation work was put into it. We had some very talented builders, um, but from the first time that we came here and came around the side corner and looked at the amazing view that you get, uh, we realized we'd be the perfect place for a cellar door. Uh, we've also got a restaurant here called Victor's Place, uh, and the two work really, really well uh, side by side together. Uh, so this space is actually shared as a cellar door and a restaurant. Uh, we've got an amazing group of chefs in the kitchen led by our executive chef, Chris Bowen. Um, and it really allows us to showcase our wines together with the amazing food that he's creating. Uh, being here on the Florio is just incredible. Uh, there's so much fresh produce. There's such an amazing community. There's so many like-minded craftspeople, um, all with such passion and dedication. Um, and visitors to the region all come and they just can't believe what an amazing community we have all working together. Um, head to the Willunga Farmers Market and you see, um, you know, half of the amazing talented people um, that we have here on the Fleurio. Uh, so creating that amazing um, experience here uh, with the fine dining options we have from our restaurant kitchen together with the wines that I've created. Um, I think it's it's a real, um, it's an amazing experience which embodies McLaren Bell and the Fleurio.